Hey, what's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Sons of the Forest video. In this one, I'm going to be sharing with y'all 20 building tips that I think are beneficial to know. Also, I'm going to be sharing with y'all a bonus tip too at the end for those of you that do make it to the end of this video. Hopefully y'all find this enjoyable, and if you do, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. This took a while to compile together, so yeah, the support is definitely greatly appreciated. As always, that's totally up to you. Just leave a reminder here in the beginning. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into all of these. Hopefully y'all enjoy and this video helps you out in some kind of way. All right, so for this first tip I'll be showing y'all is how to make a little shelter that you can sleep and save in instead of having to use a tarp. Because I'm not gonna lie, there's been some times where I've forgotten my tarp at a whole nother area on the island and I didn't want to run back to go get the tarp to save my progress and sleep to make it daytime. So yeah, this is definitely something convenient to know about. And all you gotta do is get out your guidebook. This is going to be your best friend when making a whole lot of stuff. And when you have it out, just hold in X to switch mode. And as you can see, you can build this hunting shelter here. That doesn't require a whole lot. All you'll need is five logs, six sticks, and seven rocks. And all you have to do is click it, and it'll have this blueprint pop up. And you can rotate it by pressing Q and R on however you want to get it set up. I'll go ahead and just place it right here. And yeah, once you have the blueprint set up, all you're going to want to do is just bring stuff over to it. I already have a bunch of logs ready to go right here for this guide. So yeah, let's go ahead and get some logs. You can carry two at once. Very convenient. I don't know how this guy does it, but yeah, he carries two logs at a time. And all you got to do is go up to the blueprint and press E, and they will automatically place how you need. As you can see, those just got halved. Immediately when I placed them down, I didn't have to do anything, and I got the one on top made too. So, yeah, we halved one log to make two, and we got the top part made. Now let's go ahead and bring some more logs over to it. Press E, press E, and there we go. Now we got this part made. We got all the logs that we needed on this little shelter. Next, I guess, will be the rocks, which should be pretty simple. We are here on the beach. That's where a lot of rocks are located at. Go ahead and gather a bunch of these. What's convenient, it also tells you in the bottom left if you have enough or not. So yeah, we have enough rocks, so let's just go ahead and place them down by pressing E. And we can also place the sticks down too by pressing E. Bam. So now we have a little shelter that we made that we could save and sleep in. And we didn't need the tarp whatsoever. Very convenient to know about. Anyways, now let's go ahead and get into how to build stairs. These can be kind of tricky uh, to build if you don't know what you're doing. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. So first off, if you look down at the ground here and right click, you can make it so you can put in the log on the ground, as you can see. So once you got that going, you then want to get another log. And when you go up to it and look down at the ground, there will be this line that will space over to another circle in the ground. Once you got that line that's connected to another circle where you want it, go ahead and place it. And this will be the setup of how to get the stairs. Next, we're going to want to make uh, logs going diagonal down. So, yeah, let's go ahead and gather some logs here. And what you want to do is look up at the log. And as you can see, the arrow is pointed down toward the ground. So let's go ahead and left click to put the log there. And left click to put the log there. So once you have that set up, next what we're going to need to do is gather some more logs and bring them over to the setup. As you can see, you'll get these arrows in between the setup. They'll either go in this direction, which this creates a slope, slide, ramp, whatever you want to call it. And this way will create a staircase. So yeah, make sure the arrows are going like this to create the staircase. And then all you got to do is just left click and they'll automatically split and be placed for you. Pretty awesome how it works. And keep in mind, in case you're wondering how did I switch up how the arrows were moving, you just got to right click and that will change up how you place them on this setup we got going on here. And that's the same for everything. Just right click and you'll have different building options that you can do for a lot of things. Anyways, the next tip I wanted to show you all, which this would be, I think, the third tip of the video. What I want to show you is how to make it so the stairs don't go as high. All you got to do is go up to the log here with your axe out and look up. Well, first, let's remove these. And as you can see, there will be a uh, line 
going across up here. All you got to do is just chop that and bam. Now, you won't have as high of a staircase going up. You can also cut it even smaller too if you want. It's however you want to adjust it for whatever height you're going for. Definitely convenient to know how to do that. Anyways, let's go ahead and put the stairs in now. Oh, there's a little gap there. Put it right there. Okay. So, now we know how to make stairs. Convenient to know about. Next, let's go ahead and make a uh, foundation up here. So what we're going to need to do is make struts first. So all we got to do is just get some logs and we're going to place them into the ground. Once again, all you got to do is look down at the ground and right click and make sure the circle is popped up and that's how you can place it in the ground. And then once you got it placed, you just cut it down to whatever size you're needing it to. I'm needing mine pretty low, so yeah. And then once you got it down to the size you need, you then just want to place a log on top of the logs that are in the ground. And this will end up being like the support for the foundation. You just repeat this process over and over until you get it to the size that you're wanting to make your building. I'm not going to make mine super large just because I'm just doing this to show you all certain building tips to help you all do certain things in the game. So yeah, once you got your foundation laid out of how big you want it, the next part will be adding the floor. And how you do that is by going over to the struts, and as you can see, you can just lay down floor like this. It'll automatically split for you and everything. So yeah, that's how you make the floor. You can switch which way you want the floor to go to. As you can see, you can go this way or that way. I'm just having them go in both directions here. Just to demonstrate that you can do that. So satisfying how the building works in this game. Bang! Now we got our foundation for our log cabin that we're going to make up here. Next tip will be making the wall around. It's pretty simple. All we have to do is go to the corners and place down the logs. And then we're going to want to lay them like this. Stack them up. We're going to make them all the way around. So this is where I'll be making the door the entrance to the cabin right at the top of the stairs here which by the way in case you're wondering how do I keep getting logs back immediately I'm using a log hack on single player just to make things go easier so I can show you all these tips faster okay so now we have the wall set up for our cabin not the most extravagant but it is what it is and if you want to add some rooms you know set up however you want to set it up like I'll make a room right here So yeah, this will be a little bedroom right here. Okay. Alright, so next up here, I'm going to be showing you all how to make a door. As you can see, we got the walls set up within our cabin. And we got this opening right here going on. And how you make a door is just, first off, let's just fill in this opening. And yeah, now what we need to do is get out our handy dandy axe and then approach the logs that we just placed. As you can see, there will be these red lines here on each side of it. So yeah, just go ahead and chop at these and this will create an opening where we can place a door. So now we got the door frame. Let me go ahead and clean out in here. Next, what we need to do to make the door is just get some logs, once again, and go up to the door. And as you can see, there will be these arrows here pointed up, going across from one another. So yeah, that means we're going to split the logs and place them there. And good thing it's set up like this, where 
you know the uh, textured side is right here and the smooth side is on the inside because the reason why it's good that it's set up like this is because of placing a lock on the door which is what the next tip I'm going to be getting into how to place a lock on the door so now we know how to make a door to make a lock all you got to have is a stick and then approach the smooth side as you can see and then on the smooth side of the door you can place a lock as you can see I am able to now lock the door <laughs> how cool is that helps keep cannibals and whatnot from getting inside so easily and keep in mind you are not able to place it on the uh, rough side the textured side here check this out for an example if I go to try to place it on this side here's what will happen yeah it just automatically goes to the smooth side because that's the only uh, place you can actually put the lock on so yeah that's how you make a lock on the door and build a door next tip I'm gonna be getting into is the roof I'm gonna be showing you all how to make a basic roof and then I'll be showing you all how to make a more advanced roof so yeah let's go ahead and get into this first thing you're gonna need is of course logs like always <laughs> and then all you have to do is just look up at the top of your walls that you have set up as you can see you'll get these arrows here splitting in half which once again this means you're going to split the log and it's going to go up there like this the smooth side is the roof at the top it's the same concept as laying the floor down except the floor is now going above you to make the roof and sometimes it can be kind of wonky to try to get roofs in specific areas like right here for example it's hard to get it right in there but after looking around a bit, eventually the arrow popped up for me. A little opening right by our door. Come on. Where's the sweet spot? There it is. Alright. Okay, so now we got a roof going on. A basic. Oh, come on. Forgot a gap. There we go. A basic roof <laughs> going on, but hey. Gets the job done. Keeps us dry in here. As you can see, the rain's outside, but not inside. How nice nice and cozy go ahead and lock my door ah I feel nice and safe in here <laughs> anyways carrying on now I'm going to show you how to make a more advanced roof like I mentioned before this is the basic one thought I'd show that first so first things first we're going to have to make our way to the top a way to do that is by building a way up so here's one way you can build a way up all right, so I messed up a little. You don't technically need the log going diagonal on the side. You just need a way to just walk up. So yeah, you just need one log going diagonal down to walk up to the top of the first log that was in the ground. And then once you're up here, you can just lay a log across to get over to the roof. So yeah, this is one way you can do to get onto a roof or just if you need to get anywhere higher up. This is something that helps. A little tip for you on how to get to higher places for your build this next tip is now how to make a more advanced roof all right so i'm using log hack just to make things easier so i could show this quick so one example of an advanced roof there's many different kinds you can do but one would be place a support right here and right here do the same thing on the other side And then we're going to make it go diagonal down like that. Same thing as well. Do the same thing on the other side as well. Oop. Okay. Then lay one straight across like that and like that. So this is what we got going on right now. Easy enough, right? And then what you want to do is place the similar setup in the center here now like that and then lay across like so and make it go diagonal down like that here is the frame of the roof now this is what it looks like like I mentioned before, this is just one example. You could do different kind of styles, but this is one example of a more advanced roof instead of just, you know, 
straight across like I have going on down here. Anyways, once you got this going on, you now want to make a slope. So, as you can see, the arrows are pointed like that, going across from each other. This will make a slope, not exactly a staircase, as you can see. It's pretty easy going, especially since I have log hack. <laughs> it can be, you know, kind of tedious getting the logs up here and whatnot. But as long as you make a pathway, like I showed you, this is possible. So yeah, then just make a roof going up here as well from the slope. And now we're just going to be doing the same thing over here, making the slope down. All right, so we got this side done. Now I'm going to just drop down here and I'm going to make another one of these to help me get back up see and I'm going to fill in here now and how you do that is by just placing the log bam same thing right here for the corners bam And this is kind of like a little attic up here. You could make a staircase going up to this if you wanted from inside your building. Since you know how to make a staircase. But I'm just going to do this for now just to show you all how to make a more advanced roof. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to get rid of these setups that help me get up there. Alright, voila! There we have it. Instead of it just going straight across, we now have an angled roof. Pretty awesome and not that complicated once you know what you're doing and the little tricks on how you can get up there and whatnot anyways yeah alright so the next building tip is building a wall to help protect your camp and all you gotta do is just look down and make sure the circle is there and yeah you just place a bunch of logs down I'll get back to you when I got the wall more built then I'm going to be showing you how to make a wall gate within your wall. Okay, wow, I feel like it's been raining like pretty much this whole tip video. But anyways, I didn't make the wall going all the way across, but this is a good enough example. Basically, you just want to try surrounding a wall around your base to help protect it more. This gives your base more defense. All right, so in order to make the gate... You have to make sure you got logs going straight across from one another or you're not going to be able to make the gate. And what I mean by that is I'll go ahead and show you all a quick example. So yeah, I got those logs placed. And then as you can see, for this next log I'm placing, there's this line in a circle. You want to make sure you keep placing them with the line in the circle because that makes sure that it's straight. There has to be, I believe, five logs straight across to be able to place the gate. But yeah, let me go ahead and place it on the actual wall. I'm going to put the gate right here, and as you can see, I can open it up. And keep in mind, if you don't like the way it opens like that, you can always take that down and then make it go this way. And this will make it so the gate opens like that. So yeah, that's how you make the gate. Pretty straightforward. Um, next, I'm going to be showing you how to make your walls more defensive by adding spikes at the top of them. What you need to do is get out your handy dandy axe and then go up to the wall. As you can see, there will be lines like this. And yeah, just go ahead and hit the top of them and it'll make little spikes at the top. So when the mutants or cannibals go to climb the wall, they'll take a bit more damage getting over. This can definitely be beneficial for your defense. I'm not going to break down every log on my wall like this, but you get the point. It makes like giant pencils. <laughs> Anyways, this next tip will be another defensive tactic that you can do to help uh, keep cannibals and mutants away from your base. And that is a stick defense. 
So what you want to do is, well, get a stick, and then you're going to want to look down at the ground and make sure it's not this symbol here. This is the symbol on how to break the sticks to make a fire. You want to make sure it's this, where you're going to stab it into the ground. I want to make sure I got room in the back. So I'll put that one right there, that one right there, and that one right there. All right. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Okay, good enough. Now, you make sure you have your handy-dandy axe out, and you can knock the stick over like that. So these will stab enemies that come after your base. Definitely makes for a great defense. And how you can get them more sturdy is by getting some rocks, which there's plenty around on the beach. Let me go ahead and collect a few. Got to make sure they're kind of the bigger ones. Oh my gosh, so many spiders. That's such an awesome detail. Freaking spiders. Alright, so I got a few rocks here. Just for an example, I'm going to go back to my little stick defense I got going on. Over here. And as you can see, if I go up to my sticks, I can now place down the rocks here. As long as you had the rock out, you just left click, and voila! You could put three rocks around the stick defense to make it more sturdy so it won't fall over as quickly. More enemies can now uh, hit it without them getting destroyed. And yeah, I suggest doing this all around the front of your wall. Not in front of your gate like I did here. I mean, it's not exactly in front. I still got a way to maneuver around them. But I don't suggest putting them right in front of your wall gate like I just did here. I'm going to remove this bad example make sure you have some space so you don't hit your own stick defense I mean that is a possibility you can take damage from your own little trap oh son of a biscuit I'll go ahead and give you all an example of the damage they can do all right gonna go boom that was one hit and look at my health keep in mind I'm not wearing armor but still that's nice Imagine a lot of them just set up everywhere around your wall. And you're like posted up in like a watchtower or something at your wall. Which, speaking of a watchtower, that's what I want to show you all next. You can easily make a watchtower just by going to your guidebook. And make sure you're in this mode here. If you're not, you just hold in X. And yeah. You want to make sure you're in this mode here. Anyways, once you're on this section here you then just want to go down to shelter and as you can see they got a lookout tower blueprint these are awesome to have definitely beneficial of course so we're gonna need a rope and a bunch of logs which you can find rope in random areas and loot containers but yeah let me go ahead and build this lookout tower for y'all just to show you what it looks like I don't even have to look at anything just the blueprint and it does it all for you as long as you got the logs. Which I'm using a log hack just to make things go by quicker. Alright, and we got the lookout tower built. Here's what it looks like. You got a rope in here that you can climb up. Which this is awesome, how you can add ropes to your walls and stuff to get up places as well. But yeah, looks over my defensive wall I got going on here. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the next tip and that is building furniture such as beds and all that which we can learn how to do that within our handy dandy guidebook here we just go to this table section as you can see you can build a stick bed stick chairs bone chandeliers bone chairs wall torches to light up your place ceiling skull lamps benches tables stick storages, rock storages, but for now I'm just going to be showing you all how to make a few different things. Not every single thing in this guidebook. So yeah, let's go ahead and start off with the bed. So what you're going to need to make the bed is just 16 sticks and some duct tape. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. But you can find duct tape in random loot containers if you have any around you, which I have quite a few right here. I bet you I'll find duct tape in one of these. Yep, there's duct tape. Bam. And sticks. You already know how to get those. Just find them randomly around. Alright, so I got enough sticks and I got the duct tape. You can hold 20 sticks at a time in your inventory. And I need 16. So yeah, just pull out your guidebook and then click on 
the stick bed and you can rotate it by pressing Q and R. So I'm going to make the bed right back here in this corner. It's good enough. Now I'm going to add the materials just by tapping E. And voila! We got a bed now that we can sleep and save in within our cabin. How convenient. Now I'm going to show you how to make shelves, which you can actually put things on these. They're pretty neat. As you can see, you're going to need two sticks and one log. And that's how you'll make a shelf. So go ahead and position the shelf how you want it and where you want it. I'm going to put mine right there. Then, once you got the blueprint set, just tap E to make it. Just bring a log over and tap E again, and bam! You got yourself a shelf. And as you can see, you can place things on your shelves. I don't want to place that. You could place like ammunition, duct tape. You know, there's all kinds of things. You can place flares. You can place some rocks up there if you want. This uh, log is in our way right now. My goodness. Let me clean this place out. How cool is this? Makes it feel you know more lived in and you can just pick them right up whenever you want them it actually helps with storage too in a sense and there's different kind of shelves you can make that's a wall shelf here's an actual like full shelf as you can see I'll put it right here yeah we're just gonna need some logs which I got plenty out here all right Easy enough. Once again, you can fill these shelves with whatever. Put some medicine on the shelf if you want. Some ammo, printer resin, zipline rope. I mean, you get it. You can load up the shelves. How cool is that? Now, since it's getting dark, I guess this is a good example on how to make a uh, wall torch. As you can see, you can do the bone chandelier, ceiling skull lamp, or a straight up wall torch. Which, I'll go ahead and show you what the wall torch looks like first. You're going to need cloth and a stick. I'll put it right here by my shelf. Bam. That's how much lighting it gives you. So go to my guidebook, ceiling skull lamp, I'll put it right here. Alright, and voila, that is what the skull torch looks like. Super dark out here. We got some lighting. Nice, I'm going to go ahead and sleep to make it daytime now. Alright, so this next building tip is going to involve the rope gun. In case you don't know, you can use the rope gun to deliver logs back to your base quickly. I'm going to go ahead and show you all how. So what you need to do, oh, not lock the door, what am I doing? So what you need to do is place the zip line somewhere elevated uh, if you have a wall defense so the logs can go over your wall. So I'm going to place one end of my zip line like right here. And then I'm going to place the other end over here against this tree. You want to make sure it's not super high up just because you want to still be able to make it so you can reach it to put the logs on it. So I'll place the other zip line like right here. That should be good. Yeah, perfect. As you can see, I can still reach it by pressing E if I want. You want to make sure that's a possibility because that's how you're going to deliver logs. Next step is, well, get some logs. I'm going to go ahead and cut this tree down right here real quick. Timber! That's so cool. Alright. So now you just want to pick up the log. And if you look at the zip line, as you can see, as you can see, there's a symbol of a log above it. This uh, signifies that you can actually transfer the log at the end of the zip line. Check this out. <laughs> How cool is that? as a way to deliver logs quickly to your base. Yeah, you just set it up however you want it set up so you don't have to walk or run all the way back. Just use the rope gun. 
very beneficial. We got a transfer system now, all the way back to my base. I mean, yeah, Kelvin helps get the job done, but so does a freaking zip line. This makes things so much faster. Look, I got all these logs here that quickly. Chop that bird. Oh, I missed. Anyways, this last building tip will involve a rope. Ropes are actually pretty beneficial uh, to get around in your base, especially if you're wanting to get to higher places. I'll go ahead and show you all. So, in case you're wondering how to get a rope, they'll be around randomly in like loot containers and just around in different locations too. You can find them sometimes. Once you have a rope, all you gotta do is get it out. <laughs> so, they're over here. And I'm gonna make a way to get up in the attic up here. So, what I'm gonna do is remove this log and this log. I'm gonna toss these out of my building real quick. And now, I'm going to place the rope right here. Check it out. I can use this to climb up into my attic. Oh, there's another log block in my way. Okay. Whoops, didn't notice that one. But yeah, now I can use this to climb up into my attic without building like a staircase or anything. Very handy. Also, this is another way to get to the top of your roof to build an advanced roof if you want to. But yeah, it's very convenient to know that the rope can be placed around in your base. Helps out with getting into elevated spots. Now I can build stuff up here if I want. I could even make like a little window right here. <laughs> nice little window. That's a little bonus tip for y'all here at the end. This is how you can make a window. Just remove some logs from the wall to make the opening. But yeah, there you guys have it, everyone. There's loads of tips for y'all. Hopefully something in here helped you out and you found this enjoyable. This took a while to make, so if you did find this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. As always, that's totally up to you. Just leave a reminder here in the end. I'm out of here, though. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Highly appreciate it. Until next time, peace.